Hi, welcome back to Bite Size Guide. I'm Phil. DaVinci Resolve has just been updated from version 20.1 to 20.2. It only uh, updated yesterday, and there's one new feature that already stands out a massive time saver. Um, and it's usable in both the free and the studio version. It's called the new silent deletion tool. Because it only came out yesterday, I thought it was worth a mention. I thought I'd uh, do a video on it today while it's still fresh. Uh, this tool automatically detects silent gaps in your dialogue and your video and removes them with basically one click. Uh, there's no more like manual picking through a clip to get rid of like dead air or um, awkward pauses. So we'll get right into it. I've got the uh, DaVinci Resolve desktop open. And as you can see on my timeline, I've got two videos there. Uh, they're both identical. And we're going to use one as a before and one as an after, just so we can compare uh, the two when we run it. But what also I'm going to do is, first, I'm going to run a voiceover. And I'm going to give some dialogue deliberately with big gaps in it. We'll fire that one off first just to see how it copes with the uh, voice on its own. So we go to uh, to do a voiceover, we go to the microphone icon here and we open that up and that brings up our voice over uh, record box. So all we're going to do is click on the record button, we'll get a countdown then I'm going to start talking and it'll record it directly onto our timeline here. When we've got um, a decent amount of voiceover, we'll apply the uh, silent deletion tool to it and see what happens. Here we go. Hi, this is a voiceover for testing the silent deletion tool that's new to DaVinci Resolve 20.2 on the new update. It automatically detects gaps of silence in a recording and removes them, making your recording flow better. When I've recorded this, I'm going to run the silent deletion tool on it. There we go. So I'll just play that back and we'll just listen to uh, how it sounds. Hi, this is a voiceover for testing the silent deletion tool that's new to yep that sounds okay so we've got some uh, decent gaps in there so what we're going to do we'll just get rid of the voice over uh, box just to tidy things up a little bit so what we're going to do first is just open up our track we'll widen it just so we can see what's happening just so we can see it more clearly. And then what we're going to do is click on our piece of footage or our audio. So I've highlighted that. And then what we have to do is go up to the top and we go to clip. And we come down to audio operations and across to ripple delete silence. And when we click on that, it will automatically identify any gaps 
there are in the uh, audio and it'll mark the gaps as red so i'll just click on that and you'll see there we go so it's identified in the blink of an eye where all the gaps are so in the remove silence box we've got um, a few settings and uh, the, the top one is the decibel level so basically how loud or quiet you want it to be before it classes it as silent if you increase if you increase the uh, the decibel level then basically it'll treat everything as uh, silent and it'll actually cut everything out um, and uh, the extreme at the other end if you were uh, asked it to only only ignore anything that was say over 99 decibels minus 99 decibels then um, they wouldn't find anything basically so i find like a happy medium i found that about 28 for me works fine but you'd need to play with it yourself you get it how you want it to be the next one down is the pre-head and that means how many frames at the end of your silence do you want it to cut basically basically how near do you want it to get to the dialogue if you put zero it will chop it off right at that point and you might find that it might chop a bit of your dialogue out if you're not careful and it's the same with the post tail that's at the other end when you've got a gap it'll uh, if you if you get to zero it will cut it right at that frame when when the silence starts and you might find again that at the beginning of that silent block it might cut off a bit of your talking so it's best to leave a bit of like a buffer between the actual real dialogue and the point where it cuts it off so for this for these purposes i've put three three frames and the minimum to strip so basically it looks at how many frames are in these snippets and if it's less than two frames then it won't class it as a as a, a gap basically it'll leave it alone if i created that if i pulled that right up then it would ignore everything that was like 100 frames which is like three seconds anything less than three seconds it ignore which you kind of don't want it to do really but you might do it, again it's all about having a go with this and playing it to get it how you want it to it's a bit intuitive you just got to uh, get it to to how you like it and there's a crossfade audio um i don't use that it basically blends the audio in i've not used that on any of the ones that i've actually done so far but um we'll leave it at that for the time being so if i click on remove now it will delete all of these red areas out so i'm going to do that and it's gone and you can see it's got rid of all the gaps it's reduced it to about a third of what the size it was but does it sound okay well we'll have a listen we'll have a listen see what it's you can always go back you can always do an edit undo and then alter the settings tweak it a little bit and then do it again until you get it right but we'll see what this see what this sounds like hi this is a voiceover for testing the silent deletion tool that's new to davinci resolve 20.2 on the new update it automatically detects gaps of silence in a recording and removes them making your recording flow better when i've recorded this i'm going to run the silent deletion tool on it right not too bad it sounds a bit robotic but i think that's the way i was talking because i was deliberately putting gaps in i think that altered my voice a little bit what we can do we can do edit undo and we can run it again we'll delete and this time we'll take out all of the pre and post frames so it, it, it brings it a bit closer to the actual dialogue we'll see if it this this light doesn't sound right it might clip off some of the audio it might sound a bit weird but we'll have a go just 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 out of interest we'll just run that and, and see what that does so that's made it even smaller and we'll just play that and see what that sounds like 
Hi, this is a voiceover for testing the silent deletion tool that's new to DaVinci Resolve 20.2 on the new update. It automatically detects gaps of silence in a recording and... Re yeah, I didn't like that. That <laughs> sounded even more robotic. Right, what I'll do one more time. Edit. Undo. Highlight. Clip. Audio operations, ripple cut silence, and this time I'm going to put six. Six frames each side, which is about a fifth of a second. And we'll remove that. In the real world, your dialogue wouldn't sound so robotic. It's because as I say, I've deliberately put gaps in, so it makes it sound a little the way that your um, your voice is inflected. It, it it makes it sound weird. If I was just talking normally like this, but there were natural gaps in, then it would be uh, a little bit different. Hi, this is a voiceover for testing the silent deletion tool that's new to. DaVinci Resolve 20.2 on. That sounds a lot better, actually. So there you go. That's, uh, that's how we can do it. What you can do now, if you wanted to, if you're happy with all of that, um, we can do... We can drag all of that... All of that dialogue. Because it's been chopped up, we've got loads of little... So if we wanted to do any, any sort of like alterations, we'd have to do it to every single one of these. So what we can do is we can turn it into a compound clip. And uh, how to do that is actually on another video in our series. But what we'll do, we'll right click and do a new compound clip. And we'll call it Silence Removed. And we'll create that. And then it turns it into one nice file again that we can alter in the, in its entirety in one go. Hi, this is a voiceover for testing the silent deletion. So if we click on that and inspector, we can alter that in one go without having to do it into individual snippets. Oh, that's pretty good. So we're going to have another go at that, but this time we're going to use our video footage. Now, with this, you've got to bear in mind that it will cut out the video as well as the audio. Otherwise, it wouldn't sync. So on this video, I want to keep that silence in there at the beginning. And just start it where I start talking about there. So what I'll do, I'm going to do a cut there. I've done a cut there, and we're going to ignore that first part. I play that. See, that's fairly quiet. And if I didn't do that, it would delete all of this, which I don't want it to do. We've gotten off a perfectly good train. Now we're going to walk seven or eight miles down into the bay where the boat is. Hopefully we'll get there before it do, before it disappears. Hopefully we'll get there before it goes. And we're walking in. There we go. So what we're going to do is highlight the portion that we want to uh, correct. Again, like we did before, but this time we're going to highlight the video and the audio. And we go to Clip, Audio Operations, Ripple Delete Silence, and we'll go Remove. And we'll just see what that sounds like. Please. 
We've gotten off a perfectly good train. Now we're going to walk seven or eight miles down into the bay where the boat is. Hopefully we'll get there before it go, before it disappears. Hopefully we'll get there before it goes. And we're walking. See, that, that did actually quite a good job. A little bit flickery because obviously because of the video is being chopped up as well as the audio. But, you know, not too bad. It's pretty good. I mean, it would, I mean if you imagine that video, imagine that clip being 20 minutes long. Imagine having to go through it all and take out all the bits that you, all the bits of audio that you don't want. It would take you forever. And again, what we can do, highlight all our sections, right click, new compound clip, te test, removal, violence, video. Great, and there we go. So that was it before. We've gotten off a perfectly good train. Now we're going to walk seven or eight miles down into the bay where the boat is. Hopefully we'll get there before it go, before it disappears. Hopefully. And that's the one. Seven or eight miles down into the bay where the boat is. Hopefully we'll get there before it go, before it disappears. As you can see, the, the corrected video just flows a lot better. If you can put up with the uh, slight um, flickering of the video, it's not too bad. It's only because you're right in, right in the, the camera's right in my face. If it were further away, uh, you wouldn't even notice that. So there you go. That's how you use the silence deletion tool that has come into force in version 20.2. If you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up and click on subscribe. And also, please leave a comment. The more comments we get, the more improvements we can make to these videos, and the better and more useful they'll be to people in the future. I'm Phil, and this is Bite Size Guide. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.